we would review the Adventure King's vacuum sealer. Um, pretty much this is what it is. Just opens up. Obviously got a power cord, which is underneath. So you got extra length, which is good. Um, it's got opening. Obviously the vacuum seal with the little nozzle, which sucks all the air out. And then it's got the actual sealer, but you've got to be careful with it once you're sealing bags. Um, so basically this is the bags. They give you a whole roll. Um, which is included in this box. Mm -hmm. um, so pretty much the first thing we'll do is plug it in and we'll seal the bag. So obviously plug it in and put the power on. So at the moment this bag um, is pretty much empty, like obviously just a bit of plastic. Um, the good thing about the bag is when you're purchasing them you can use multiple brands but you've got to be aware of this little bit of um, like pattern which helps the air escape when you're sucking it. So if it's smooth obviously the air can't get through whereas this like channels the air to be vacuumed out. So pretty much um, you turn the power on. I'll just explain the machine. So this is where you click down and there's two little knot bits on the side that you open up. Pretty self-explanatory. You've got seal, stop and vacuum seal. Obviously the heating strip and then the suction chamber. So what we'll do today is do the um, seal the bag first on one end, then put the items in, and then seal and vacuum the other end so it's complete. So um, basically it's got this foam section so air doesn't escape. So what I pretty much want to do is put it underneath there and just put it on the ceiling strip. So what you do is, it's a little bit tricky, but you've got to try and keep it underneath. And press down pretty hard till it clicks, and what we're going to do is just do a seal. So the red light will go on, it'll seal, and the red light will go off. But just be cautious not to burn your fingers. So obviously to unlock it, press the two buttons and open it up. And what you'll do is inspect the seal. So pretty much have a look and make sure it's yeah pretty much much sealed. It looks pretty good, good to me. So what we'll do is we'll put some items in. So we're sealing some bacon for our Cape York trip. We'll just open that up. Obviously wash your hands and just try to be as clean as possible. Um, so what we'll do is fold that in half. Oops. Pop it in the bag. What you want to do is make sure the top's really straight, like you don't want it to have any creases in it, and try and put it the curled edge down, which will make it easier. So this stage, um, basically just drop it inside that foam channel with the suction valve, but obviously don't cover it because then it won't, won't be able to be used. So pretty much just about in the center, so you've got a bit of space either, either side. I'm going to have to close this and push down as hard as you can. And basically it will vacuum seal. Once it completes, then it will seal and obviously the lights will go off on both. So we'll just press vacuum seal and we'll suck the air out. So what we might do is, so if that can't happens and it doesn't suck out, what I've done is I've put too much plastic over the edge. So we'll just put it across there. We'll try again. And we'll go back in. Oh yeah, so basically I put too much plastic in so then the air couldn't get sucked out. So just drop it over. So it'll stop, now it'll vacuum seal. Wait for the red light to go off. And then pretty much it's ready. So I would just wait a few extra seconds, just make sure it's sealed. And then press the buttons on the side. And then, yeah, have pretty much have a look. Hmm. Sealed both ways. And that's like pretty good. There's no air like at all push around the side. So yeah, I already recommend it's pretty good. Like 10 out of 10. Well, obviously we've never had a vac seal before, but it's good for small time stuff. Um, the only thing is obviously you can't seal liquids because the, it'll suck the liquid out. But yeah, that's it. So thanks for the Drive Center and Adventure King.